it's Allie Dazzle for Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine, and I'm so excited to share a project with you today using two of my favorite new tools, the Planner Punch Board and the Whole Reinforcer Punch. These two tools work perfectly together, and they're both uh, must-haves for any crafter, planners, school supplies, office supplies, whatever you're doing with paper, you really need these. Um, so what I made is a pocket folder insert for my planner. And this is simple, it's just one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. Um, I used uh, the hole reinforcer punch to kind of accent the holes a little and to strengthen them. Um, and I just decorated a little bit and I just keep like my labels and tags, ephemera, um, little stickers in here. Um, you could put photos, receipts, um, you know, whatever you want to keep in your planner. Um, and it's just really easy to make and super handy to have. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is grab a 12 by 12 sheet of double-sided paper. Okay, so you're going to want some kind of pattern on each side or color on each side. This is from the Maggie Holmes um, Chasing Dreams collection from Crate Paper. So I'm just going to slice this um, in to 10 inches wide. Just take off two inches and I'm using my trim and scoreboard because I'm going to be doing both trimming and scoring and that just makes things go faster for me. So once I've done that, I'm going to move to the scoring which all you have to do is just flip this little thing over and you're going to score at five inches and then you're going to turn it on its side here and score again at five inches and then what you're going to do is just mark where you're going to make your pockets so I'm going to mark at the number three just a little mark and then again I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side, just put a little mark at number three, okay? So now once we've done that, we're gonna fold this up, and I'm gonna fold it with the um, cross pattern, this was cross pattern inside, because I want my pockets to be this pretty um, pink floral. So we're gonna just fold it in half, and then fold it in half again, and crease everything. Now we're ready to cut. So what we're going to do is cut from this mark that I made right down to the center line. So again, flip this little flap over a line, the end of that line right there. This, this first line is your cutting line. And then, oh, I'm sorry, we're going to line this line that I made right there, the three, three inch mark, with this line here in the middle. Okay, and then we're going to just cut. Let me scoot that blade back up cut that little section off. And then we're going to do the same thing for this side. So we're going to line up this center line on the cutting mark there and then find the little groove that I made. Flip that upside down. There it is. Okay, now all we have to do is slice that off and move this out of the way. And then I can show you how to fold this up. So now that you've got this here, we're going to fold this up again like that and then in half and this is now our pocket pocket folder okay so what we're going to do is punch some holes using the planner punch board and these are the standard hole inserts that come with the board you don't have to purchase these separately and if you flip it over on the back it tells you um, different styles and sizes of planners and where to line up your hole um, punches to um, make it just right. So for this is a, I'm using a Heidi Swap small planner. So it tells me to put my inserts on number nine, number 20, number 55, and number 66, which I've already done. So I'm going to slide, this is the end with the edges together. I'm going to slide those in carefully and make sure it's nice and centered. So the same amount is hanging off of each edge here. And then I'm just going to punch pull it out and there's your holes um, to put that in your planner. So next what I want to do is I'm going to just put some adhesive in here so this kind of stays together. I'll put some right next to the holes but not covering them and right next to the crease and just make sure those holes line up and that's going to keep it from flopping around. And now what I want to do is add some pretty hole reinforcers um, for some accents and also just to strengthen this a little bit. So I've got my whole reinforcer punch 
And let me give you a couple tips with this. You can punch just regular paper, cardstock, pattern paper, um, and then you can put some adhesive using like a, a fine tip glue pen, like a precision glue pen, or um, you know any kind of adhesive pen. Um, or here's a tip: you can use Basil Basics has this awesome mono adhesive cardstock that's uh, self adhesive. And you can just punch that, and then you don't have to stress about how to get your adhesive on such a teeny little piece of paper. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use. Another tip, let's see if I can find it here, is um, some people like to put washi tape on their paper first, and then punch it out, and then peel the washi tape up, or just leave the washi tape there with the paper because it makes it extra strong. So that's another tip for you. Um, so I'm going to punch six of these, oh sorry, four of these. Whoops, gotta get that out before I punch the next one. Okay, so now all I have to do is peel off the backing comes off pretty easily and then just stick those right over the holes um, and again I, I like them just for accents you know for almost like an embellishment but I also uh, like how they strengthen your pages your inserts so they last longer and this you can use this not just for planners but um, this is a great project for a mini album or a mini book, some kind of a journal. You can use this for school papers, any kind of a binder where you need to reinforce your pages. And then of course I would do it on the other side as well, but to, I'm just going to do that one side to show you. Then I'm going to embellish this just a little bit with some of the ephemera from the Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams collection. Um, and this is really one of my all-time favorite collections. It's just so beautiful. I love the colors. I love the patterns. The vintage feel, it's just beautiful. Let me grab a thicker, stick that here. And then I'm just gonna put a few little gold stars around because it says shine. Um, and you know, you don't need to embellish your folders if you don't want to, but you can, you know, and it's up to you how much. Um, bulk or depth you want to have in your planner. Maybe I'm going to move that down here. So we've got a, something on this side. Perfect. Okay. So um, this is just so great. You can slide in your stickers. You can slide in your ephemera, labels, um, receipts, um, tags, photos, whatever you want to keep handy in your planner or your journal or your notebook um, and these are easy to make and you can make them bigger you know if you have you know if you want to or different shapes um, you can cut this all the way down to there you can cut it, just leave it straight across and make it shorter so there are a lot of fun options for these um, cute pocket folder inserts for planners journals mini books mini albums whatever paper craft project you're making so thanks for joining me again i'm ali dosdell for scrapbook and cards today and i'm so glad you guys let me come today and share all about the planner punch board and the whole reinforcer punch two absolutely essential tools for paper crafters Thank you.